Hi, this is Lawrence Sanek at the Home Seller Home Buyer Podcast. Today we'll be talking about Home Buyer Episode Number Ten. What kind of questions should you ask before buying a home? What kind of questions should you ask before buying a home? Well, most home buyers jump into buying their home because they've fallen head over and heels in love with the house. So it is wise that you think about asking questions before signing on the dotted line and getting those answers to your questions. Here are three main issues that home buyers should address up front. One, offering price. Two, condition of home. Three, location of home. With the advent of Zillow and other online information centers, some of the data you would like to know can be found on the web, but much of that information may be incorrect. For example, Zillow can't accurately compute value on homes in neighborhoods where the size and configuration is non-conforming. But it can give you a general idea of value, but not as accurate as an agent value analysis or the best being an appraised value of the home. Home buyers often compare prices of similar homes in the neighborhood before choosing a price. But the asking price may have very little to do with the actual value of the home or the price a buyer should offer. How much should the seller pay? While the seller's profit has nothing to do with the price of tea in China, it does help to know if the values have gone up or down since the seller bought the home. If it's a foreclosure flipper, you may not be able to secure financing for 90 days. How much does the seller owe? If the seller owes more than the asking price, then you're looking at buying a short sale or the seller will need to bring cash to the closing, which very seldom happens. How much have similar homes sold for in the neighborhood? This is your best indicator of value because your bank's appraiser will rely on those comparable sales to compute the value of this home. How many offers has the seller received? Some homes generate multiple offers. In that event, your offer will need to be very strong to survive the competition. How long has the home been on the market? You might be able to negotiate a discount on the price if the home has been on the market for 60 days or longer. Ask questions about the condition of the home before buying. If you know in advance that the home has structural issues or deferred maintenance, you might want to take those problems into consideration before choosing an offering price. How old is the roof? Newer roofs have a life expectancy of anywhere from 15 to 50 years, depending on the material. How old is the heating and air conditioning system? Has it passed its estimated life expectancy? What is the type of foundation? Raised foundations allow access under the home to reach plumbing and electrical, as do homes with basements. Slab foundations are more common in newer construction. Does the home have insulation in the walls and attic? In colder climates, insulation is important and each locale sets standards for the R factor. Have any appliances or systems been replaced, and if so, when? It's a plus factor if older plumbing and electric have been updated. Moreover, some older appliances can't be repaired because parts are no longer available. Ask questions about the location of the home. In real estate, one routinely hears it's all about location, location, location. Homes in desirable areas are worth more than similar homes in locations that are not so desirable. What types of properties are located nearby? There was a home in California that had a cement wall over the fence. Behind it was a towing company and plumbing company. Apartment buildings, commercial and industrial, lower the value of residential around them. What are the neighborhood demographics? Some title companies can supply this information, but your best bet is to talk to neighbors, followed by asking the agent about the area and doing research at the library. Where are the schools? Schools can be a huge concern to parents with small children. Even if you buy a home within the boundaries of certain school districts, there is no guarantee your children will get into that school. Are there nuisance factors? Traffic from nearby restaurants or stores may be an irritant. With freeways in the distance, you might not hear the noise during the day, 
but as night falls, the clatter and constant hum may get louder. Even barking dogs can drive a person nuts. So you can see that it is very important to ask questions even if you are in a market where good homes sell quickly. So do your homework ahead of time and make a list of questions that are important to you that you need answers on. Thank you for listening to Home Buyer Episode 10, What Kind of Questions Should You Ask Before Buying a Home? We are grateful for the time you have taken to listen to this podcast, and we look forward to your input on what you would like to hear about in future podcasts. You can find the show notes at homesellerhomebuyer.com, and you can leave your comments, questions, and suggestions there, or you can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at homesellerhomebuyer.com. Tell your family, friends, and coworkers about Home Seller Home Buyer. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to listen to the Home Seller Home Buyer podcast and catch us on the next episode. Thank you for listening and stay informed.